As the situation in Ukraine escalates, there are a number of problems. The humanitarian side of it, the ordinary people who are just victims in this whole big game who are being damaged, uh, but also from the UK's perspective, in terms of the people smugglers, the illegal migration routes uh, from Dover, uh, who are basically, and I, I warned this even back in the day with Afghanistan, is that there is a trend where we say, well, okay, there's going to be a lot of uh, Afghans uh, being refugees. So a lot of people from North Africa and the Middle East pretend to be from Afghanistan. Everyone's suddenly from Afghanistan. You're going to have a similar situation that everybody's going to pretend to be from Ukraine. Well, at least everyone who's white. Uh, and then this whole thing can be prevented. And the people smugglers, their business could be prevented if we have a sensible legal migration route and refugee route in place. So people can apply for asylum and we vet them properly and then bring them here. That's the only solution. And of course, you have to stop that nonsense with Macron and his people, uh, the smugglers. Now, uh, Alex uh, Shelbrook, one of the Tory MPs, stood up in House of Commons and lashed out against the Home Office and the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, and told them to get a grip and fix this problem. Speaker, does the Home Office recognise that this is a war of the likes that's not been seen for 80 years in Europe? We don't want to stand in this house and listen to plans and processes. We want dates, we want action, and the Home Office must react far more quickly than it's doing and get to the point of hubs of people, get them processed and get them in. This is a disgrace. When the minister leaves this dispatch box, they ask him to go back to the Home Office and tell them to get a grip. Now, that is a fair point. Whether you see it from the humanitarian side, then we just want to help people, or whether you see it from the logical migration uh, perspective that you have to actually have a sensible asylum uh, process in place so you can make sure to you get the right people here to make sure you vet them. Secondly, you stop this nonsense at um, the Calais, between Calais and Dover with the boats. So the people, uh, smugglers are taking advantage of this. Macron is getting rid of people he doesn't want to and we're just sitting here uh, using taxpayers' money on people who shouldn't, who probably wouldn't deserve to be here. Let's just be honest. Or we could actually give the space to our people who have issues, as well as the, the right refugees, the people who are actually in definite need, so that we could actually help them properly. Now, the ministers are all incompetent. And that's the problem I have, especially right now with junior ministers at the Home Office, one of them who stood up to answer like a robot, as usual, read the room and get the tone right. Don't just come back with a pre-written statement saying uh, that we are speaking with our colleagues in the Home Office. Nobody cares. Get it done. Yeah. As I've outlined already, we're making quite a number of changes. We met officials this morning to push further ones through. We've made che extended the, the entitlements and who can apply. And as I say, this is, we'll suit this. Will boring, boring, boring. He's, he's responding to it as if it's, it's, it's a question from uh, the, the opposition or it's like some sort of Diane Abbott person or whatever. And stop it. What you're saying is fair. That's just your department's line. And that's, you know, you can be proud of the work that your department is doing. Let's just go with that. Yes, you are doing something. And you know that you can defend it. Saying, we, we, we are doing stuff, guys. We are do I get it. But when your own colleague, a Tory MP, says something like that, come back. Politicians, first lesson you need to learn is instead of learning virtue signaling nonsense, you actually need to learn to be a bit more human in terms of communication and language. You don't have to become irrationally emotional and have a meltdown or you know nonsensical screams and shouts. No, show a bit more humanity. And it's not just fake empathy. I don't give a, I don't care about empathy in terms of if you want to perform it just to prove that you're human. No, no, no. Show real compassion and just respond to a fair question in a normal way rather than as a robot. Stop being a robot. You're making me sick and tired of it. <laughs> now, thanks again, guys, for watching. If you want to get more from this channel, the best thing that you can do is not just subscribe. Of course, you have to subscribe, but click on the bell next to it. That's the best way to get notified because we release a number of videos throughout each day, uh, and uh, you know we don't really get recommended much by this site. So the best way to do it is to get the notifications bell sorted. Thank you very much. I'm my 2 and we are the media.